time my fellow movie collectors well here I'm doing my 2010 collection update video so let's not waste any time guys let's get right to it okay here we go we'll start here with the uh, one to one scale uh, wolf predator helmet done by ADI and Sideshow collectibles this is the Medicom uh, vinyl figure from El the first alien uh, pretty badass just to fit one of the, my wins at uh, Spooktacular this year Spooktacular badass thank you Sideshow Hot Toys Predator Predator 2 and Wolf Predator figures fantastic uh, but yes the uh, uh, what one more can you say about this figure is the Predator 1 Hot Toys uh, one six scale figure Jeez, it is amazing and I've said I uh, I can't get enough of this figure it looks amazing this is the uh, diorama from Sideshow um, this this video got taken down uh, from YouTube uh, because I had Fox material in it guys a word of advice do not use any Fox video material you'll get it taken down no matter what you do and no matter what you say it'll be down so I'm gonna do um, showcase review I never did a review on this so I'm gonna do it again and yes my alien dioramas or oh, videos that got all taken down because they had Fox material in it so I'm gonna redo those uh, stay tuned for that uh, this is the uh, Takara uh, Optimus Prime figure amazing this is my uh, by far my uh, best collectible right now uh, of Transformers looking forward to see the Sideshow Maquette from Revenge of the Fallen very excited about that this is the uh, Spider-Man 3 statue uh, very very nice work by Sideshow collectibles too bad the movie it was a flop and yes Sam Raimi uh, big uh, news in the Spider-Man uh, uh, info in the in the movie world Sam Raimi pulled out of spider-man uh, he's done with that uh, he's gonna do World of Warcraft now I heard the movie uh, I don't even know who's gonna direct or if there's ever gonna be a spider-man 4 I'll keep you guys posted on that so let's move it to here to the um, uh, snake eyes palisite toys uh, uh, mini bust of snake eyes snake eyes is my favorite character from GI Joe I will be getting the 12 inch figure from sideshow and I already got the Storm Shadow. Um, it's it, I, pre, I pretty much have it. It's it's at a collectible, a local collectible store here. I will be getting that soon. So I'll, those are the two figures from from Sideshow from the GI Joe line that I will have. Badass. Uh, this is the uh, Veritech from the movie Macross Zero. An unbelievable model for, by Yamato. I have to do a showcase review of this figure. It is amazing. It was one of my first collectibles I got when I started collecting. It, it, it's it's amazing. It's fully transformable. Um, look forward to that, guys. Uh, Airwolf, uh, Ayoshima model, a badass show in the '80s. I love it. Loved it. So it was obvious I had to find a high-end collectible for Airwolf. Very detailed, highly detailed. Removable missiles. All the doors open. There's a pilot inside. Uh, it is a full battery operated. Uh, I'll do a full showcase review on that and explain all the features of that. Technoman figure. This is from Bandai. Um, very rare figure. I found it on eBay. Uh, well, I am actually going to get this painted by a professional painter. Uh, I am actually talking to the guys of uh, Collection DX right now. I uh, send them a message on YouTube. See if uh, if there is a high-end statue of Technoman. My favorite, one of my favorite animes in the 80s. It was badass. Uh, here we have the Resident Evil. This is from Hot Toys. This is a Krauser figure. This is one of my wins. Uh, spectacular as well. Badass figure. Full showcase review coming on that, guys. So stick around. Okay, Star Wars 12 inch figures over here. I got Commander Prodigy. Here's uh, Leia as Bush. Obi Wan. Qui Gon Jin. Moving along here. Yes, Kotobukiya. So McTavish statue. Uh, thanks, my man Eric Sosa. Again, you rock, man. Uh, well, I'm really looking forward to buying more of your uh, of your stuff. After I seen this a statue, it, it totally blew me away. So really looking forward to uh, keep collecting with you guys. The uh, Prestige Edition uh, goggles from Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 being the best uh, multiplayer game online right now. Amazing FPS. This is a, a template that I, I bought that came with uh, one of the Hot Toys figures, and I got it laminated, and surely will be going on one of my walls. Awesome. Uh, Ford Mustang model. I mean, this is not no big deal. I just have it here on the shelf for fun. And yes, this uh, Sunstar um, DeLorean. This is from Part Two. I want to get the Part One and the Part Three models. They look amazing. Uh, Back to the Future was my one of my favorite movies <coughs> growing up in the 80s. Love love these models. Very highly detailed. 
do a full showcase review when I get the other two models. The Playmates is a Star Trek Enterprise from the new movie. I am not a Trekkie, I'm not a Star Trek fan, but I am a fan of the new movie. Badass. And yet they, there's some company I have, there's a preview at Sideshow. Uh, uh, I even seen a Comic Con last year, there was a big Enterprise model coming up, Sideshow was advertising it. I don't know what company it is, but it looked huge and of course it looked expensive. So. Uh, FX lightsaber in the back, that's Anakin's uh, lightsaber, and then this is a, a F-14 model from Forces of Valor, uh, the F-14 being my favorite uh, fighter. Uh, back in the day, now the F-18 uh, takes the place. The amazing one-to-one -one scale bust of Arnold from Sideshow, Stan Winston's now Legacy FX. Uh, guys, you know, I have so many comments on this uh, about being not being a one-to-one -one scale, his face is too skinny. Uh, guys, I don't think Stan Winston Studios uh, would lie about the sizes of these, uh, Stan Winston's being uh, such a respectable company in the movie world, not, you know, this is not like Walmart or nothing like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they would lie about the specs of this, I mean, if it's one-to-one -one scale, I believe them a hundred and be billion percent, so it is an amazing figure. I have a, a review on, uh, on YouTube, go check that out. The Hot Toys 12-inch uh, figure from Terminator 2, a very badass. Oh man, the Chrome Endo, I can't get enough of, the, of this bust. It is just the one-to-one -one scale Chrome Endo by Sideshow and Stan Winston Studios. An amazing recreation of this badass character. It, it is unbelievable. Sarah Connor bobblehead, I bought that with my gift cards at Sideshow Collectibles. They're pretty, pretty cool. Metal Gear Solid being my favorite video game of all times it beats anything and everything uh, gets its own spot right here uh, what we have here is the uh, Metacom uh, MGS4 uh, solid snake here uh, an amazing figure I look forward to adding uh, Raiden on there and yes I have the uh, the zombie snake coming uh, from Saicho real soon I pre-ordered last time and I can't wait to add it up to this cabinet and yes there is uh, the boss uh, Jack here on the with this eye patch and the gear. Uh, it is an amazing looking figure. Medicom did a fantastic job um, <laughs> recreating these figures, I, and I can't wait to add the. Uh, there, there's another one too. There's Naked Snake, the one without the eye patch. I think I'm gonna get that one. I have that one on pre-order as well, Sideshow. So looking forward to that. There's the Essential Collection back there, unopened, completely sealed with all the games in there. Uh, the uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence Limited Edition, and there's a sealed, uh, sealed MGS4 release, launch day release pack, uh, not even open, never cracked, right there in the back. And uh, this is from uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, the official release. Uh, amazing. Uh, I love all the collectibles uh, of Metal Gear. I'll have, yes, I have the UDF figures coming soon. The, uh, my UDF figures, and um, my, my, my Metal Gear McFarlane stuff is all packed up right now. So, but I'm gonna have the UDF uh, version two figures coming soon, guys. Full showcase review on that. Star Wars 12 inch figures, more, more of them right here. Uh, that well, actually, the one back there is the Medicom Darth Maul. Amazing head sculpt on that figure. Love, love that figure. Uh, this is the uh, Darth Vader uh, 12 inch uh, from Sideshow. An amazing recreation of Darth Vader brought down to one six scale figure. It looks amazing. This is the uh, Stormtrooper, of course. Who doesn't know what a Storm Stormtrooper is? And yes, a full showcase review coming up. There's tons of reviews on that already on YouTube, but I don't care. I'm putting my two cents in there. And yes, there's a 12-inch figure of Darth Maul in the background. 